Since I got a lot of positive feedback on my diet spreadsheet, I decided that I was going to go ahead and put this out here for any of you that want to use this. I really want to help anyone in their fitness journey, whether it's lifting or losing weight, and this may be one way that I can help you. For me, I know that I've tried many times over the past six years to drop weight and I've always been unsuccessful until I developed this spreadsheet and this has really forced me to hold myself accountable in my weight because I have to weigh myself every day, plug in the information and then look at my progress. What am I doing? Where am I at? And that's helped me hold myself accountable. You'll see here I've got an instructions tab that just goes through and tells you how to use the spreadsheet. It's pretty simple so you don't really need to use this but it's there if you want it. Now you go into your starting information and you're going to fill out everything that's in green. So you go ahead and fill in your name and you can put whatever name you want there, it's whatever you want. You're going to select pounds or kilograms. Your starting date, this is the date that you're starting your diet. Make sure you use a month, date, year format for those of you who are not in the USA. Your starting weight and your goal weight. Now you go into your goal setting. You'll see there's a per week and a by deadline. So if I say I want to lose two pounds per week, you'll see it'll take how many days. So for me it's 147 days and it'll tell you what date that is. However, if instead of that way you decide I want to actually set myself a deadline so by the end of the year it will tell me that I need to lose 2.13 pounds per week. Now I pick do I want to do the per week or the by deadline. So I select the by deadline. Now I need to go figure out my BMR and my TDEE. So for me, this is my information. And now it's going to go ahead and give me a rough estimate. I want to highlight that's a rough estimate of how many calories per day I need to lose weight by my deadline. Now if I change this to per week, it changes those numbers. So it's a rough guideline. If you're going to use this, I recommend starting at the high and then working your way down when you slow down and you're not meeting your deadline to average. Give it at least two weeks to see where you're at and then dropping to low. Now you go to your daily tracking. This is where you're going to put in your information every day. I recommend your primary daily weigh-in to be the first thing in the morning after you wake up and go to the bathroom. The reason for that it's going to be the same time every day or close to it. It's going to make sure that you're not getting a whole lot of water weight fluctuations. You haven't eaten and since it's first thing in the morning you don't have to worry about your clothes weighing different amounts. It's just a really good time to do it. If you're not going to do that make sure it's the same time every day and then I have a second weigh-in if you choose to weigh yourself twice a day you can put it over here and then your personal comments are whatever you want to keep track of so for me I'm gonna go ahead and put some information in here so this is my diet so far you can see here now it tells me how many pounds I've lost and in the weight loss category anytime it's black it means I've gone down anytime it's red it means that I've gained it tells me my projection based on the goal that I set. A goal dynamic projection, don't really pay much attention to this unless you fall off the bandwagon hard for a couple weeks. This will tell you how you need to aggressively get back to where you want to be. And then this is a diet projection based on what your actual performance is. So you want to make sure that your diet projection is staying close to your diet goal projection. But this is the primary column that you're looking at to see are you going to make your goals and then here you can just put whatever influenced your weight you know went to a birthday party had decided I wanted a whole pizza to myself and I was bad something like that and then you can look back and pay attention to what that was and then your weight here it's the same basic concept you plug in the information and it starts telling you you know how much weight you lost and all of that information weekly progress this is something that's going to update dynamically so you don't need to plug in information here it just tells you on a week-to-week -week basis what did you weigh in at anytime it turns red it means that you weighed in a little bit higher than the previous 
day. Do not be alarmed if you see red. It's there so you can look and see trends. So if you look at my weigh-ins, you'll see Sunday, I typically weigh more than Saturday. That's because I'm not very good on my diet on the weekends. So that's something if I start not meeting my goals, I know Sunday and Saturday, because if you look at Monday, I'm not doing too good on Monday, which means Saturday and Sunday I'm abusing it, I can cut that out. And then it tells me how much I've lost in a week and per day. So again, my goal was to lose 2.13 per week. You can see I've not done that every week, but I'm close. Now, last thing that you have is your diet progress. So it's gonna put your name there, it's gonna tell you your total weight loss, what your current weigh-in is, how many days you've been on the diet, how much you have left to use. Then it's gonna tell you your average loss per day and per week, what your goal is, and your difference. So if this is green, that's good. If it's red, that means that you're gonna to have to step it up to meet your goal. Now, this is a one-year projection that keeps track of your diet. This will update as you continue to put more and more data in there. It's not gonna have a whole lot till you get at least a week of weigh-ins. And then you have a diet versus projected plan. This red line here is what your projected plan was, what you wanted to weigh in at, and the green line is what you're actually doing. As always, this is a work in progress by me. If I get any updates, I'll go ahead and update the base spreadsheet. If you run into any problems or bugs, please let me know and I will fix that as soon as I am able. Now you will notice that if you try and type in a protected cell, something with a formula, it'll tell you that it's protected and you can't change that. Just click OK and keep doing what you need to do and I hope this helps. As always, go lift something heavy.